What's up guys, it's Bloodshed Romance. I am using an app called BBQ Screen to cast to my PC so I can record my Nexus 4. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show the Watch Dogs mobile, CTOS mobile app, which is right here. So this is CTOS mobile. My phone is actually getting incredibly hot. I have a Nexus 4. Pretty sure I just stated that. It is running Cyanogen Mod 11, and it is Android 4.4.3. So this is the Watch Dogs C2S mobile app. Uh, you can rotate and pinch to zoom out and in. And there's 12 codes apparently you can redeem, but I don't know any of those. The news opens up um, just a other games by Ubisoft. So options is you can get notifications for the app, which I just got the app, so I don't know anything about any of those. And then you can turn the music levels up and down. Editor is pretty cool because that means you can like design your own challenge for people. I have no idea what that notification just was. Oh, apparently I have 11 Dropbox things synced. I don't care. <laughs> Alrighty then. Uh, profile, I haven't done anything. Mainly because as soon as I try to hit quick match, I don't get anywhere. So, welcome to CTOS Mobile. Let's start there. Basically, it's you've accepted the next step of Watch Dogs. Why isn't my taskbar auto-hiding? There we go. Alrighty. So you can pause and read this if you want, but basically you you control the helicopter and that's what it is. So contacts is pretty cool. It adds all of your Uplay contacts automatically. You can add more from here and play with them if you so chose. Quick match gets you right into the match if you can. Helicopter, this is where it actually gets interesting and shows you what you can do. Damn it, I don't care Dropbox. My freaking Razer Game Booster here is trying to uh, explain to me that it's sinking my games. I don't care. So to move the helicopter, you can just drag the thing over and it'll move it. Nope, oh, getting some lag there. Uh, when you're in what the radius you see here is the Wi-Fi range of the helicopter and that's how you control things so then we move on to heat points heat points you can get 20 of them apparently to increase them you have to follow the little red car which is in the game Aiden but as soon as you get over it the sharpshooter in the chopper starts to shoot at him but just staying over him lets you uh, get more points. I can't move it anymore. Yep, there's where it tells you about the sharpshooter and stuff. I want you to maintain position over it. And then it starts shooting. Jesus, Dropbox. Go away. Alright. Now we're at CUTOS Incidents. Based on your opponent's actions, CTOS Incidents may pop up. CTOS Incidents will give you heat points. Uh, he killed a civilian. Oh, so whenever he screws up, it gives me heat points. See, I didn't know that when I was actually playing Watch Dogs. CTOS devices. This is the, uh, you activate the traffic lights and stuff. Basically, you tap it, it arms it, and then whenever he gets in a range, it'll automatically activate it and damage him. <coughs> oh, getting some lag. Uh, you can tap blockers and stuff. It'll automatically lock onto them. I don't know what this button down here does. Uh, I'm not sure what this does. 
Uh, let's see, we got dispatch. Dispatch is your cops. I'm gonna hit the button. Oh, that want, asked me if I want to quit the tutorial. No, I don't want to quit the tutorial. So this lets me summon different cop cars wherever I want to go after him. And that costs heat points. You can call back your cops wherever you feel that they're losing. Uh, redispatch. This is pretty cool. But you have to be really, like, like, really paying attention to notice this, I guess. So he's out of sight. So the cops got like, confused. So you have to quickly come up here and hit this. And you can redeploy him. Oh, I'm missing. I'm missing. Right there. Repair. Uh, you can damage my helicopter if he gets out and shoots it. So then you have to reach up here and hit repair, and it will repair my helicopter for me. It doesn't really explain what happens if you destroy it. Like, if you lose it. The autopilot's pretty cool as well. You can reach up here and say autopilot for 8 points, which, Jesus. And up here in the left, you can see the duration that you have left. On autopilot. So then we got persi Oh, I hit autopilot again. Uh, yes, I wanted to close this tutorial. And then we want precision shot. Activate for our sharpshooter's precision shot to inflict major damage. So that's the sniper button in here for 12 heat points. I haven't actually played a match because I couldn't find an opponent. But there, he hit him pretty hard, apparently. Uh, so then we have steam pipes. Which is the other thing that we can do. So you... Most powerful devices, once armed, they would detonate as soon as your opponent is nearby and deal massive damage. So, arm the steam pipe, he gets close, and kaboom. And I don't hear miss. Steam pipe's pretty much ROP. So that is the tutorials of this. When you hit quick match, I'll see if we can't just wait here a minute and see if I can find somebody. But you hit quick match, it says searching for player, and it goes out and finds somebody. And for me, I was sitting here waiting for about 10 minutes, and I could not find anybody. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So, that is the CTOS mobile app. Um... It's pretty cool. I mean, it gives a new twist to it, but from my experience in game, I played against somebody that had the mobile app and I absolutely wiped the floor with them. It seemed that as soon as I got out of that helicopter's range, I stayed out of that helicopter's range. So, I mean, it could be something else. I don't know. Maybe the guy was just lagging a bunch. I only did like one or two of it and no, I did not record it. So, basically, you're going to end up waiting a while, because I don't think a lot of people are doing a bunch of Watch Dogs online. Uh, the CTOS mobile app apparently lets you go against, um, it lets you play against PC, Xbox, and PlayStation players. And I have a feeling that the only way to get opponents is if the people in the game goes in and specifically requests to play against a CTOS mobile person. Well, in game, you do get um, offers to play online contracts and stuff. And some of them being the CTOS mobile app, because I'm guessing that's how they're trying to push people to try to play online. But I have no idea how rare these are. I, I guess it's a flunk from Ubisoft if this didn't work. And I mean, my phone is getting pretty freaking hot right now. Of course, it is screencasting it with a BBQ screen. And uh, the way that works is it's uh, either Wi-Fi or USB or even Bluetooth. 
and you can set the variable data rates and then on the app for the windows you can um you can set it to do HD processing which I obviously did but every once in a while it does get a little bit laggy which is interesting I was trying to figure out if you can do it with Chromecast you can do Chromecast if you have a Nexus 5 but BBQ screen is out another one I found is four dollars and forty nine cent and it does do audio and video up to 10 mega uh, 10,000 kbps as the bitrate it says that the variable bitrate the lower is faster and higher is slower but the frame rate that we're getting right now is pretty okay there's a lag drop every once in a while but I don't know I haven't really played with the app I literally just bought the app trying to figure out how to do this so I can show off the CTUS mobile app but obviously finding matches is a problem and there isn't a um, AI that you can fight I know it would be really interesting I don't know anybody else that has watchdogs but I almost wonder if you have to have watchdogs to have the CTOS mobile app and well it asks for your Uplay account so I'm guessing that's how they know but I wonder if you actually have to have watchdogs I don't know that'd be interesting if you didn't because the app was free I don't know. I'd have to play with it, I guess. I have to go make a fake Ubisoft account, and I don't want to deal with that headache. But I was trying to figure out if I could play online and then have one of my buddies come after me and, like, you know, I can call him up or something and be like, hey, you know, get on your phone and try to take me down. I want to run away and do stuff. And then have it record. That'd be kind of cool. But obviously, it is 1 a.m. Eastern standard time so maybe that could play a part in it I don't know maybe not I mean hey but regardless this is the CTUS mobile app it is definitely definitely amazing pretty cool stuff although the one flaw is I have not been able to find a match I will try this again later guys, but for now this is just going to be the overview of the CTOS mobile app in general. Thank you for checking out this video, and like this video if you like it, dislike it if you disliked it, and uh, comment if uh, you've had any successes in the CTOS mobile app. Thanks for watching guys, I'm Bloodshed Romance, check out my other videos, till next time, peace.